Yunus, is Secretary Geithner likely to get China's support or not? Zane, it's looking very unlikely at this stage. Uh, China's position has been that the U.S. sanctions are improper, that they're unilateral, and that economic and trade issues shouldn't be mixed with concerns over Iran's nuclear program. Secretary Geithner has been in Beijing for the past two days, and part of his mission has been to persuade the Chinese to cut back on Iranian oil imports. Uh, but even before Secretary Geithner arrived, a few people had very high expectations that he was going to see a successful outcome. Uh, and that's mainly because China is uh, the world's largest energy consumer and it's a huge buyer of Iranian oil. About 600,000 barrels of Iranian oil are shipped here every single day. That's about a third of Iran's total oil exports. So uh, many people here have said that you know China could have influence over a potential oil embargo. However, uh, Beijing is very unlikely to budge on this issue because so much is at stake. Zane? Will they budge on any other issue? Because the two sides were supposed to discuss a pretty wide range of topics. Did they find any common ground on any issue? Well, the two sides uh, were able to find common ground on the world economy. Uh, both sides came out quite strongly uh, saying that they were going to look for ways to cooperate on global economic issues, that they're going to look for ways to support global growth. And uh, they, they also addressed a lot of their own concerns about potential fallout uh, because of the sovereign debt crisis in Europe. However, of course, when it comes to any economic issue uh, related to the U.S. and China, there are these uh, perennial sticking points that did not go resolved. Uh, get resolved. Uh, one of them, of course, is that uh, the, the concerns over the currency, uh, Secretary Geithner, every single time that he's come to China, has pressed the Chinese to allow for more flexibility in their currency regime. Uh, several po Washington politicians have complained over and over again for several years that the Chinese unfairly value their currency, uh, which uh, they say hurts American jobs. And the Chinese, on their part, always bring up uh, another issue that's important to them, and that is the uh, sale of high tech tech goods. Uh, they've been asking the U.S. to ease restrictions on um, the sale of high-tech goods, and that's another issue that came up this time round, as well as the currency policy. However, uh, nothing was really resolved, and instead the two say that they're going to continue to try to narrow their differences, but of course these issues loom large over the economic relationship between the two sides.